Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another review. Today I will be talking about how to install a replacement for the built-in Windows Start button. Now as we all know with Windows 8, Microsoft made its most drastic change to both the Start button and menu since its inception back in Windows 95. And it just really didn't appeal to me very much, so I use a third-party start button to replace it and it basically worked as a replacement for the start button. As Windows 8 evolved into version 8.1 it slowly changed the start button around a little bit. Now that we are into Windows 10 technical preview we can see that they've changed it even further. Now I have to give it to Microsoft. I do believe they've improved it a little bit over the past three years since Windows 8 was released to manufacturing. However, I'm still not a huge fan of this at all, even though we can unpin these Metro apps from the start menu. And unfortunately, power buttons all the way up here to a sleep, shut down, or restart the computer. You can expand the size of the start menu. But something that I really dislike is when I click into the search bar down here that never goes away. Uh, we search the web and Windows. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable this. But if we were to search anything like computer, not only does it come up with stuff under settings, apps, and a web search, it also comes up with what we're actually looking for up at the way top. I would be interested to know if there's a way to disable all of that too. But honestly, it just seems a little bit cluttered to me. It doesn't really seem inviting. So to combat this, what I've always recommended to people that have switched over to Windows 8 or Windows 10 that aren't a huge fan of the Start button, uh, I recommend using a third-party replacement for the Start button. And now I should note that there are several third-party applications that can replicate the Start button if you're looking for a replacement to the Windows Start button. But my personal preference is iobit Start Menu 8. Now, contrary to the name, iobit Start Menu 8 actually supports operating systems for Windows all the way back to Windows XP. And it also includes Windows 10, even though we are still in a technical release build. And basically, what Start Menu 8 does, if you look over here on the right image, it will restore both the Start button and the Start Menu to one that very closely resembles that of Windows 7 and Windows Vista and there are also a lot of cool customization options that I use on my own Windows 8 computer. Haven't tried it on Windows 10 yet, but we'll give it a go. If we click on free download, it'll take us to their download.com page. Click on the big download button right in the center of the page. We see that their installer is about 9 megabytes, so it's a pretty light footprint. Let's just save it to the desktop here. Now just give this a second here. Now let's start the setup. Click on run. And click on yes for that. Let's see we actually have two installers going here so we can cancel out of one of them. Okay, so now we have the Start Menu 8 Setup Wizard on the desktop. Let's click Next. We're going to agree to the license agreement. Personally, I always click Custom Install and uncheck all of these other add-ons that I really don't want. If you want to read what iobit is offering, more power to you, but personally, I don't like to install any programs other than the ones that I am intentionally and knowingly trying to download. Okay, and I'm also going to uncheck that. Okay, so if we launch Start Menu 8 for the first time here, try opening that up. On this page, we can specify what Start Menu looks like. We can pick a variety of different Start button icons from this list. And there's also a button down here that says More Fantastic Icons to choose other Start Button icons, I believe. It goes back to the iobit forum, the makers of the start menu 8, and then I think you could even create your own start button, if I'm not mistaken. Personally, I used classic start button icon. 
click apply here, we can see that it's changed over to our familiar start button right down here. Click on style. We can change the transparency of the window. So we have that open here. Or less transparent. I keep it usually somewhere in the center, but before that I normally click on classic window style. You kind of get an interesting theme with that. Nice color contrast there. Under general, you can run, you can show how many different programs you want to display, number of recent items to display, the power button. Unlike the normal start button, you can actually change the default action when you click on the power button. Uh, I believe there are seven different options for that, but the most classic and traditional one is just shut down, and that's what I personally have it as. Set which items you want to Under display menu, on the right what panel I was about earlier, of the start menu. Actually, there are three different options for all each one of these folders and that is do not show, show as link, or show as a menu and that's we get that if you click on this little drop down menu here we can show downloads show it as a menu here the main difference between a menu and a show link is that a link will redirect the user to the folder that contains the files whereas a menu will actively display the files that are contained within the folder if you drag over it and you can see now that I have the downloads folder as a show link only, it'll just open up the folder of the downloads. And this works for a variety of components within Windows here. We can see there are plenty to choose from. And the user interface, you can customize the profile picture right up here. You can change the font size, you can change the color of the window. But this was pretty much just a short video on the I.O. Bit Start button. I'm sure they're going to make some changes to it over the coming weeks and months as Windows 10 approaches its final build version before it's released to the public. Now, I do like the direction that Windows 10 is moving in, but I like it even more with the classic Windows Start button. And I feel that a lot of people, if given the choice between the start menu and the one that was built into Windows 10, I have a feeling that most people would choose this one. Now, I've used this and many other start buttons over the last couple of years, but I always go back to this one. And I think that'll be about it for this video. So take from as you wish. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.